I just finished everything out at my place. Now Travis and Dad are still working in the 4640 out there, uh, planting corn. Luckily, I am a little bit ahead of them because I don't think they're done across the road here yet. And then they also have my 11 acre corn field to do, which I did last night. So I'm gonna, I got a little bit of a jump start ahead of them. I'm gonna run down to Travis's place and start working down there. Um, there are quite a few acres down there. There's at least 40 um, straight back plus whatever's in contours down there. So it's probably gonna take me a good portion of the rest of the afternoon. So I'm gonna uh, fill up here at the main farm and head back down. racing against the clock uh, they're calling for rain tomorrow night and uh, we don't have near as much in as we need to have in so they're calling Travis has called and he said that they're saying we're supposed to have seven inches between now and the end of the month and seven inches between now and the end of the month isn't gonna give us time to get the crops in before uh, the end of the before we actually start seeing a reduction in yield. Um, so this is not good. Um, the later on that we get, the worse off we are. And we're trying to get all of our corn in within a very narrow amount of time. So we're gonna have to keep chugging away at it. Um, try to get as much done before it starts raining because once it starts raining, it's not gonna stop.
managing to keep it pretty tight with that bean ground. The heck is that? That is definitely a Yodi chasing those deer. He's not sure what to think about me. Oh, mom brought us supper. Let's see what kind of goodies mom brought us. We got Deja Blue. My favorite brands of water. Blue Gatorade. Arnold Palmer. And I'm probably gonna consume them in this order. Uh, large Mountain Dew. And two chicken sandwiches. So I'm gonna chow down this. And I'm gonna keep going right now. I'm on 40, which is uh, kind of like the back 40 at Travis's place. Uh, we gotta go through the pasture to get out here, and um, gates are open. Came out here. I just did my first two laps around it. Now I'm gonna start going back and forth across the field. Um, this is probably gonna take me. What do I do? Like 15 to 20 acres an hour. It should take me at least like three hours to do. I would think. Um, by the time I do all that turning around, and there's another break in we call it, which is straight back. So. Get back to work, duty calls. Well, it's now 2.12. Just packed the VT up, just finished here at Travis's. Uh, we got a little bit to do across the road, but other than that, I'm gonna head back to the farm and refuel. Uh, I see that we're kinda tickling down to about a quarter of a tank. So if you guys were wondering how the farms lay out in relation to each other, uh, this is a pretty good graphical example of the three main farms. Um, this isn't all the acreage. I had switched to a pre another map and um, I was using that one for a while so it doesn't have some of the stuff on it. But this is a pretty good represent representation on where everything's at. So here we have Rockville, the main farm. Here we have where we are now, which is Travis's place. And then here we have my place. As you can see on the way out to my place, there's a thin little line going out there because I forgot to um, click out the detent when I picked the uh, VT up so it hadn't stopped recording but uh, yeah that's a pretty good graphical representation of how the farms are laid out in relation to each other um, zoom in on this farm so this is actually a pretty good representation of this farm because this is the only one that I've done that has all the acres that I had covered on it. So uh, here's the buildings. Uh, highway runs along the left of the farm here. Uh, I gotta go across the road and do a little bit over there. But um, here's the front. Here's what we call the straight back. This is all one crop. 
Uh, here's the 40, this is all one crop, which has been in continuous corn for the past few years now because we don't like growing soybeans back here, uh, just because there's so many rocks, both straight back and in the 40, and a lot of sinkholes as well. So um, here's the break-in we call it, which is another piece. Uh, all in all, this is about 40 acres back here, and this farm in it, of itself, I don't know how many acres it is total, but I wanna say it's between two and 300 acres total. So um, anyway, we're gonna, we're already packed up. Let's just head out. Probably not best to cross that one if you're drinking. So I'm just wrapping up down here at Travis's across the road. Since yesterday morning, I put in 343 acres with the VT. It's pretty good. That's uh, the most I've gotten done in a two day period with this thing yet so all right i'm gonna head back up to the farm refuel and uh head over to another another farm I haven't decided which one i'm going to yet i gotta look it up on the money. Let's load up. I just got to the next field, but I think we're gonna turn around and head back home. Uh, the reason being is because it's now 4 a.m. and they're calling for rain in four hours. Um, I know that Dad and Travis are four hours behind me, so at the time, by the time they get done, uh, they're looking at a 50% chance of rain at 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. And after that, it's about a 20% chance for the rest of the day until 9 p.m. tonight. So what we're thinking right now is that I'm gonna go home, get some sleep, and if the situation calls for it, if we don't get rained out early in the morning, um, I'll come back out and I'll finish doing this. Um, but they still have some no-till ground of mine yet to do, so um, if they do that, in the meantime see if it, if it rains that gives me ample time to come back and see so anyway uh, i'm probably going to call her quits for now um i honestly think i could have finished this if i just kept going but if we get rained out for the next two weeks we don't want to vt it now and prep the seed bed we'd rather do it right before we uh go through and plant to break up that moisture in the soil so anyway i'm gonna head back to the farm and try to get some sleep for a few hours